Hi friends, this, this is Barron's from Barron's Bugs and Bees. And right now we're in Southwest Florida with two turtle specialists, Mike and Katie. And right now, uh, these are some Florida box turtles. Except that's not what we're talking about right now. We're gonna be doing some turtle telemetry later, but not right now. So right now I have two questions for you guys. So what do you do if you see a turtle crossing the road? Sure, so you wanna always make sure you got your eyes out when you're driving on the road. And if you do see a box turtle, slow down, uh, check for traffic before you get out, and if you can, just grab it and just just carry him on over to the other side where he was heading. And that's one way we can protect these guys, because they do get hit by cars a lot. Then Katie? Yeah, Mike, so another thing we can do to help protect turtles is kind of to do nothing at all. If you see a turtle and it's just in its natural habitat, don't pick it up, don't move it, um, just leave it where it is. They know where they're going, and yeah, the best one of the best things we can do is to just leave them alone. And also, if you're interested, you can take some pictures and share the story of the amazing turtle you found. That's right. All right, so look, come on, let's go do some turtle telemetry. Come let's on. go. All right, now we're driving to go release some already marked turtles. All right, so right now, this turtle right here got marked and now is going to be released back into its natural environment. But first, why don't we ask our specialist here, Katie, why these turtles need to be marked. Yeah, yeah, so we marked these guys so for a couple reasons. Number one, if we found this turtle again, then we would know that we've already found this turtle. So each of the little holes that we drill in the shell, it doesn't hurt them, it's like your fingernails, um, corresponds with a certain number. And so I could pick this turtle up and say, oh, yep, this is turtle number 21. And then we can see if it's grown since we last got him, stuff like that. Also, if a poacher may be coming along and sees this turtle, it'll see that it has these holes in the shell and say, oh, that turtle's not valuable to me. I'm not gonna take that turtle. It's being monitored. So that is why we mark the turtles. So also that's another reason of why if you see an unmarked turtle somewhere in Southwest Florida, and if you're in the part that SCCF is in, well then you can call them and they'll come and pick that turtle up, mark it, and then release it back into the wild. That's right. And let's release this turtle off to the wild. Off into the wild he goes. This was truly an amazing animal encounter. It sure was, Baron. Next step, let's do some turtle telemetry. The equipment that you use for turtle telemetry. So let's ask our expert Mike here from SCCF what turtle telemetry is. Yeah, so turtle telemetry is, uh, we use radio telemetry sets like this, and we have radio transmitters on the box turtles. And those transmitters send out a radio signal and this thing can pick it up so when we track them we can use that signal to figure out exactly where they are and uh, if you want to give it a pair on right now so if you can slow you can hear that sound there's going to be a little beep so the closer we move towards the turtle the faster the beep is going to get the turtle is somewhere in this patchy part of bush so let's try to find him We're going to turn it down by pressing the minus sign. Okay. So you're still pretty loud, so you're still really close. So now, what I want you to do is look for it and wait, and when it gets louder, let me know, and then we'll turn it down even more, okay? Now, friends, I know she's somewhere here. I said the camouflage really well, so it'll be hard to find her. transmitter so that is like a little antenna that we stick on to her and then the, so she'll let so we'll know that she's there when we do the radio transmission all right so this is cool we just found our first turtle I want to owe a big thank you to Mike and Katie for being with me today and the whole of SCCF for helping the animals and also tr spending time with me and also that they allowed us to do this video. So I am very thankful for both of yeah. you and for SCCF and I want to say a big thank you to all of you. So thank you very much. We had a great no time, Baron. Thanks. thanks so much for coming out. Yeah, thank you.